global sorghum growers are trying to hedge against volatility in foreign markets. China is a big buyer, but as Steve White reports tonight, some see a strong future domestically as well. Much more than corn and beans growing in South Central Nebraska, we're getting on board the planter as Milo goes in the ground. Halfway in the middle of the growing season if they want to come out. Recent rains that delayed planting are starting to feel like a distant memory. We may have been complaining a little bit because it's been too wet. We haven't been able to get out in the fields and stuff like that. But uh, my dad said you never complain about moisture because it quits. John Dolnicek is doing his part to advance the science of sorghum. We'll find those good varieties and most definitely its um, footprint is a lot less. Drought tolerant sorghum also known as Milo, has many uses. I guess the main thing I like is its versatility. Animal feed, ethanol, even distilled spirits and food products. Sorghum can do it all. But as an industry, we're seeing maturation of markets domestically, products that are gluten-free, non-GMO, and sustainable. And they'd like to capture more of that economic activity in Nebraska. The head of the sorghum board says much of the grain and related processing jobs are shipped elsewhere. At the same time, international markets remain vital. China is buying quite a bit. Uh, China is probably one of our big uh, buyers in sorghum. Buyers there are looking for grain from 2020 that is pretty well sold. We lucked out in that instance in that there was a shipment uh, sitting in Seattle that had missed the boat, so to speak, well, literally, actually, missed the boat. John Dolnicek is all too aware how quickly drought can come on. Sorghum takes a lot less water. He also raises corn and beans, but says research he's doing here shows the viability of sorghum, a crop that may not produce as many bushels as corn, but whose input costs are much more manageable even when weather doesn't cooperate. Anything we can do to lower input costs, uh, you know, everybody's talking environment, sustainability, and uh, sorghum fits right into that, that category there. It's not a big field, but Dolnicek partnering with Pioneer to do some research. Reporting near Lawrence, I'm Steve White.